Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com, setting the record straight about the big lie. After a cold summer in Greenland, the press is once again ramping up the fake news about that island. They claim that Greenland's ice sheet has melted to a point of no return, according to a new study. But if we go to the Danish Meteorological Institute website, we can see that what the press is saying is simply not true. The blue line is the surface mass balance for Greenland over the past 11 and a half months. It's the difference between the mass of all the snow that fell on Greenland over that period and the amount that melted. As you can see, about 350 billion tons more snow fell on Greenland over the past 11 and a half months than melted. The gray line is the 1981 to 2010 average. So you can see that this past 11 and a half months has been almost exactly at the long-term average. The red line represents the record low year of 2011 through 2012, when only about 50 billion tons more snow fell than melted on Greenland. Now let's look at the longer-term picture. In this graph, I've overlaid the surface mass balance for Greenland for the past four years. 2017 was very high. 2018 was very high, 2019 was at the low end of normal, and 2020 is almost exactly normal. So if we summed the last four years up, we would see that the mass gain of ice on Greenland since 2016 has been above normal. The reality is that the surface of Greenland is gaining ice at a faster rate than normal. It's not melting past a tipping point, it's doing the exact opposite. Put quite simply, the reports in the press are untrue. They are the exact opposite of what's going on in Greenland. This graph shows temperatures over the past month at a research station in the center of the Greenland ice sheet. This should have been peak melt season, but temperatures never got much above minus 10 degrees Celsius. You're not going to melt much ice at those temperatures. So we know that on average, Greenland's surface gains about 350 billion tons more ice every year than melts. So what happens to all of that excess snow and ice? Because there's such a large excess of snow in the interior of Greenland, it forms massive glaciers which flow to the sea. And when the glaciers arrive at the sea, large chunks of ice break off and form icebergs. This is what sank the Titanic in 1912. Then climate alarmists photograph the ice breaking off and they say, the glacier is collapsing, the glacier is collapsing. These people are worse than Chicken Little. At the end of 2018, National Geographic reported on Greenland's unprecedented ice loss. And then, a few weeks later, National Geographic reported that Greenland's most famous glacier, the Jacob Chauvin Glacier, was actually growing. But that didn't mean melting was over. So some glaciers are growing in Greenland, and over the past four years, ice has been accumulating on the surface at a faster than normal rate. Then CNN reports on this as Greenland's ice sheet has melted to a point of no return. What CNN is doing is not science, it's not journalism, it's propaganda, it's the big lie. Toto doesn't understand why humans lie. He understands that a functional civilization depends on good science and telling the big lie is the exact opposite. You can visit Toto on the web at realclimatescience.com.